Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Now we got ears, it's time for cheers. Hot dog, hot dog, the problem solved. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. Memphis police charge you with assault over a hot dog. A damn hot dog, bruh. Let's get it. Our story, it involves an on-duty Memphis police officer, a med tech, and a hot dog. Tonight, that officer is the one facing charges. Now, arrest records show this guy, Ralph Confer, attacked a hospital worker at the Regional Medical Center last month. He was arrested yesterday and charged with assault. Police say the victim went to the police holding unit at the hospital where the staff was having a cookout and asked one of the nurses if she could have a hot dog. The nurse said yes, but Officer Confer said no, so she left. Police say the victim later went back and asked another MPD employee if she could have a hot dog and was told to help herself. That's when the victim says Officer Confer confronted her, knocked the hot dog out of her hand, and tried to force her out of the room. He eventually handcuffed her and locked her in a police holding cell. She was later released and treated for injuries she received during the assault. Confer has been placed on desk duty during this investigation. What's going on, y'all? This is Huggy Pacino for the Huggy Pacino Effect. Back with another video. Officer arrested after hot dog assault at Regional Medical Center. That's what we call the med in Memphis. A Memphis police officer was arrested after he was accused of assaulting a woman over a hot dog. According to the police report, the victim was on duty as a medical technician when she went to the police holding area at Regional Medical Center. The employees were having a cookout so she could so she asked if she could have a hot dog. One employee reportedly told her yes, while Officer Ralph Confer told her no. The victim said she left the police holding area, but returned a short time after. Again, she asked if she could have a hot dog, and the employee told her yes. As she was fixing the plate, the victim said Confer walked into the break room and slapped the hot dog bun from her hand, telling her she could not have any food. That's weird. What type of relationship y'all got going on that he felt that comfortable to just walk up to you and just knock a hot dog bun out of a hand? We were talking about food that he didn't cook. It has nothing to do with him. You're an officer. You risk your job to do something this foolish and this ignorant. And he's supposed to be a police officer. Like I said, hey, this is crazy. We're trying to corral her out of the back door. Comfort allegedly picked the woman up by her arms, causing her to hit her head on some cabinets. He then threw her on the ground, placed the knee in her back, and handcuffed her, the victim said. She was then placed in a holding cell for some time before her supervisor came and released The victim was treated for a hematoma to the top of her head, bruises on several parts of her body, and soreness. Cuffer was arrested on Tuesday and charged with assault. Wow. Now, according to the video, they said that this happened a month ago. Why was he arrested recently? Something fishy about this story. I will say this. Um, I don't know. I, I think this is like, I, I want to lean toward the dude being a, a real asshole. But I also want to lean toward, a, I think the woman is exaggerating what happened. That's a possibility. But I will say this. He's an officer. And we have an issue with officers in general. And I, I, who's to say this dude is really being that big of a of an asshole and using his authoritative, you know, authority rather, to do what he did toward this woman? It's kind of foolish to just walk up and just tell a woman she can't have any food, and the employees themselves are giving them giving that lady the okay to get something to eat. We're talking about a hot dog here. It's not like she asked for a steak. Even if it was a state, like what, what is what is your job to stop this woman from eating something that 
Everyone's open to eat. We're talking about a cookout. This is for employees. What are you doing? And this is what we. This is what happens. Like you got officers that make other officers look bad that actually do do their job. We're talking about this woman couldn't even be safe at work to have something that she wanted to eat because, well, this offer. You know, this is a cookout is for employees and most likely for some, you know, patients or people that are visiting and things of that nature. I don't know, man. We're going to give y'all, we're going to keep a close, close eye on this story. Uh, if there's any updates on this, which I am sure there will be one. And I'm leaning toward, there's a relationship that this him and this girl probably had. And I think they know each other because he felt too comfortable to do such a thing. And either it's that or, she, you know, she's exaggerating the story. It's either one or the other. I don't believe that dude really it's just being an asshole. I'm not giving him an excuse and I'm not giving him a pass because what he did was unnecessary. And if he did all of this, picking her up, causing these bruises, then he should be arrested for that. Bottom line. And I hope they throw the book at his ass because, hey, it is what it is. Tell me what y'all think. Leave your comments and make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Huggy Pacino for the Huggy Pacino effect. And I'm out.